Hi everyone, this is Brenda and Tim from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to be covering the 10 top items that you should consider putting in your pantry uh, for long-term storage. Maybe you've been hearing about the food shortages. I'm sure you've been seeing the food shortages, but the predicted shoot, uh, food shortages <laughs> for this fall and winter are predicted to be much worse and most likely for years to come. So these are items that you may want to consider putting in your pantry while the prices are still low, the prices are still climbing. So whatever you buy at today's prices is going to be cheaper than tomorrow's prices. So let's get started. So the number one item you want to consider stocking up on is water. You want to stock up on water for your family. You can only live without water for three days. If you're on city water, you know, your water may become contaminated or the water may be shut off altogether. Here uh, we have a well, but if we lose power, then um, and our generator no longer has fuel that we have no way to get water. So one thing that I want to get in one of our preps is to get a hand pump for our well. Something that uh, so we won't run out of water. So something to consider. Oils. Stock up on different oils for your cooking and baking. We have canola here, coconut oil, and I have some red palm oil that I use for some of my paleo baking and olive oil. Not sure if I mentioned that. <laughs> also, you want to can uh, stock up on canned meats. We have tuna here, Vienna sausage. Uh, you can also stock up on ham, roast beef, pork, whatever is available to you. I've also been canning some meats, uh, which is definitely cheaper than um, buying them already canned for you but do what you can if you don't have a canner or you can't afford a canner then um, get some from the store nuts are also a good item to have on hand for some good fats we have walnuts here and peanuts a good uh, filling snack in between meals you also want to stock up on any baking products that you're going to be using definitely sugar and definitely flour uh, what we're using what you're seeing now in the stores is the wheat um, harvest from last year and this year's harvest is going to be much less because of all the droughts that have been happening in the country and a lot of countries are not exporting their grains to us now because of the uh, what's happening in other countries. Also baking powder, baking soda, yeast, any leavening products that you use or may be using in your baking. Definitely beans. An assortment of beans will go a long way. Beans and rice uh, make a complete protein. We have split peas here. We have the, the 16 bean soup mix some small red beans, lentils, and some northern beans. Also, grains are becoming in shortage as well. Here we have some oatmeal. We have both uh, minute oats and regular oats. The regular oats will last longer, but I vacuum seal these, uh, which will preserve them for a longer period of time, longer than their uh, best buy date on the package. Definitely store some rice. And here we have some popping corn, which can be a great snack, but you can also grind it down and make some corn flour and uh, do some baking with it. Along with uh, the wheat, uh, here we have some different kinds of pasta, spaghetti and macaroni. You want to have some either canned fruit or dried fruit like this, uh, these cranberries here. These will add more nutrition to your diet and um, 
add variety to your diet as well. And always a good idea to keep some canned foods that are ready to go in your pantry. If you do lose power, uh, then these you can eat right out of the can. We have some soups here. We have some regular baked beans. You'll want to stock up on some canned veggies as well. We're growing a garden and canning what we can, but if your garden doesn't make it or it doesn't produce what you were hoping it would, then these will be a good backup in your pantry. Back here we have some condiments. We have mustard and some salad dressing, other condiments that you may want to stock up on, ketchup, relish, things that you normally use on a regular basis will definitely, definitely help flavor your food and prevent some food fatigue. Salt is a big one. You want to stock up on different kinds of salt. Here we have some pink salt and some regular table salt. If you're going to be doing some canning, you'll want to get the non-iodized salt. You can still use the iodized salt, but your, can, your pickles will have, be cloudy. The liquid will be cloudy, so it doesn't really look appetizing. And another big item is spices. You want to stock up on different spices to flavor your foods and um, give you more variety. Plain rice and beans uh, can get really tiresome really quick. So anything you can do to make your dishes taste different, that'll come a long way. And not a completely necessary item, but maybe tea and coffee are necessary for you. You don't want to go without your morning cup of joe. So you would want to uh, stock up on these. So stocking your pantry is not only for food shortages. It can be preparing for maybe you have a job loss or you know you can't afford stuff at the store anymore. So and different kinds of emergencies that can happen. You can always uh, rely on your pantry to feed you in hard times. So I hope this has been helpful if you're just starting out. I hope it gave you some ideas. If there are other things that you think are part of your basic pantry, let us know down below in the comments section. <laughs> Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'll see you the next time. Bye.